Hey guys, welcome to a Fusion 360 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, convert your logo or any image into a 3D object that you can then import into Fusion 360 and create a 3D um, thing. Yeah, very precise. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, I show you how to basically put your logo onto onto your design and make it 3D. So here's my logo. I uh, probably could have done a bit more work to make it look a bit better, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, and basically, I don't want to open up the Microsoft Store. I want to go onto Edge. And there we go. Basically, you want to go to this website, and I'll put a link into the description. You want to go uh, once you're on the website. You want to click the little laptop icon, or if you want to import it from like Dropbox or Google Drive, and click those. Uh, you just click the laptop icon. Then you find uh, your logo. So I'm going to do this one. Um, this is the one I did before. So as you can, if you look at this image. Okay, so if we look at this image, this is my logo. You can see it's kind of got a lot of different kind of uh, gradients of colour. So you can kind of have a darker white here and a lighter white and kind of grey. It's all kind of different shades. Um, what I did do is I put converted it all into black. So if you want everything, say if you want your image to all be the whole thing will be extrudable, so all this, so everything black will be extrudable and everything white will also won't be extrudable you want to kind of colour in everything black, but if you want multiple things to be extrudable then keep, them keep it how it is. So with this one I made it so it was the black one so I only extruded out this piece here if that makes sense. But this time we're going to convert this one see what that looks like. I don't know what it looks like, it's just a test. So anyway, so you basically you click it, you get your logo, open it, you might want to edit your logo to get it how you want it. Uh, then you hit the convert button and then you hit the download button and then you save that where you want. I'm just going to save it to my pictures. And then I'm going to go into Fusion 360. And I have this test file already. Sorry, there's a little bit of noise. My uh, 3D printer and my PC are kind of making a lot of noise right now. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to insert SVG. And you want to click the little file icon. Find your picture, which hit open. And depending how big your image is, it'll look bigger it will be quite big so you just kind of if you grab it uh, this little kind of half moon here if you that that'll allow you to scale it equally uh and then you can move it around so you can get it to kind of how you want it and where you want to put it you can rotate it you can free move it there's loads, kind of a lot to play around with here so i'm just going to kind of get that on the middle and then i'm going to hit stop sketch now with this one i can now extrude multiple pieces so i can make everything a different size so if you want more detail in your logo then keep the colours how they are so look now what I can do if I extrude that out so now as you can see that has extruded that but it looks a bit different to that one see it's got all the shading so then what you can do is then also extrude all the other pieces and you can kind of make kind of make it how you want to I just prefer the basic look but yeah then anyway that's how you uh, convert them into your logo uh, but the best thing to do is probably just get your logo, paint it all black, so you get your logo in like a single extrude. Makes it a lot easier. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if it uh, helped you at all, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see any more tutorials, uh, just put it in the description, and I'll try and make the tutorial. Um, if you've got any questions as well, just comment down. And yeah, so, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next one.